welcome back. Okay, um, yikes. I'm looking rough. I didn't even realize it, but I really am. Um, okay, so today I am going to just, it's like the sun is going down, so I'm trying to like catch this video before the sun is down, but I, ooh, my roots, I really need to get in to get them done. I'm looking, seriously, I'm looking like I need some help. Okay, I just tried to help myself, but I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to try and really quickly show you how to do a red lip. I am by no means anything the authority on this, but from talking to one of my friends who's like in the beauty industry and then also just from watching lots of videos, I've kind of come up with my own thing that works. I've come a long way from when I first started wearing red lips to now. So, I'm just going to show you what I do do now that I find keeps my lipstick on the longest. So first you're going to start out by, and the majority of the products that I'm using today are um, all drugstore minus the concealer, but I'm sure you can find a pot concealer that's the same. Okay, so first I'm starting out with Maybelline Baby Lips in Quenched, I think. Yeah, Quenched. Um, it's just the clear glass and just really nourish your lips. Okay, before that I did this, I usually scrub my lips with a toothbrush and some water. Oh, it's raining out. Oh, the sun's out. Okay, sorry. So I scrub my lips with a toothbrush and a little bit of water. And um, that kind of sloughs off a lot of the dead skin because when you're wearing red lips, you don't want any of the lipstick to stick to your the skin on your lips so you kind of want to make sure that your lips are a little bit exfoliated and I find that just a little water and like a toothbrush does the trick so I've already done that and then I just put on a little bit of lip gloss okay after that I'm using Pace Benefit um, it's just a pot concealer um, and just get a little bit of this and you just want to kind of nude out your lips and I'm just going to dot this out just to kind of nude out my lips a little bit. Okay. So now I'm going to use this Hot Red by NYX. 87817 Hot Red. And just go ahead and line the outer heart of your lips. And then for it to last all night, make sure you get in the inner corners. Once they're lined, I go ahead and fill them in. semi. Okay, then you're going to take a little bit of toilet paper and just blot. And go back over it one more time. Just line. Okay, now I'm going for the red color that I'm doing because I'm going to do a red lip and a pink lip just to show you. Um, for the red color, I am doing Revlon's Cherries in the Snow. I was wearing it, I think, in my last video on my fishtail braid. Um, it is just a more of a, like, berry red color. And so just go ahead and fill that in. 
make sure you get the corners of your mouth because as you're eating it will wear. And then I like to go up and use the tip. So there it is filled in and then I like to go in one more time and blot. This is if you're wanting it to stay all day. Blot it and then do one more layer. When I say all day, I really probably mean like four hours. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so cherries in the snow always stains my lips. So the next, like, I wore it last night, and even though I washed and scrubbed my lips with a toothbrush, it was still on this morning when I woke up. So it always stains my lips. So this one stays a lot. But I'm looking like serious trash, so maybe I should have saved this tutorial for a different day when I was looking better. That's one combo. Then I'm going to do another one, so hang on. Okay, next combo, I'm going to start all the way over. Quenched. Erase paste. Give it a little blot. This time I'm going to be taking Fuchsia, NYX liner and Fuchsia. I just got this in a recent haul. Make sure you really precisely do this, your little cupid's bow first. Make sure this line across the bottom is very straight. And then I'm just going to go ahead and fill it in. For that, I'm going to use this Revlon lipstick in Persian Melon. And it's just a very bright, fun color. So I'm going to go right over top of that. I always like to do this top part and then I kind of fill in and then I just do. Is that weird watching me put on lipstick because I'm a little bit weirded out my own self so. And then I'm going to go ahead and blot. And reapply. That is how I do my lips when I'm going to be wearing them bright and poppin'. Um, um, I recently have been finding, I never used lip liners before. I'm talking like never because I have this really bad picture. I'm not going to name any names. But I went to high school with somebody and they wore super dark lip liner and then they filled it in with like light pink lipstick. Um no me gusta is all I'm going to say. So I had this like really bad envisionment of lip liner. Although when I was introduced to YouTube Beauty World, I saw everyone uses lip liner and like how long it probably would make your lipstick stay when you have a base down and all those steps. So, oh crap. My friend Emily told me to don't forget to powder your lips. I totally forgot about that. So like if you do the concealer, then I guess powder your lips and then press them and then line them. Didn't do that step. See, this is not what I do. I don't powder my lips, but she suggested that I should do that. So 
follow her suggestions, okay, because she knows better than I do. So anyways, um, then my friend Emily told me you must be using a lip liner. Like, it is a must, Laura. So I invested in some lip liners, and you know what? They're really not that expensive, so if you're worried that, you know, you don't want to spend the extra money on lip liners, just get, like, a neutral pink one, and that can pretty much, and, like, maybe a red one if you're wanting to, like, you do a brighter lip. This is just how I rock the lip. But anyways, these are both. This is Cherries in the Snow, which was the brighter red, and then this is the pink one, and it's Persian Melon from the Moon Drops line, the, like, Grandma Lipstick line from Revlon. So, and then I just used NYX liners, um, two NYX liners to go with it. So, and then you can use whatever concealer you want, but I suggest probably a pot concealer, um, and more of a pasty formula, and then I just used Quenched. Um, and it did help, actually, I forgot with the red lips, to blot the concealer and the lip, the, the chapstick, blot that before I put the lip liner on, because it makes it, like, a little bit more dry so it grips to it a little bit better but still your lips are moisturized and don't forget if you are going to be wearing bright lipstick make sure you scrub your lips with a toothbrush because that will really slough off the dead skin and it won't like look janky and patchy throughout the day so this lip combination will seriously last me four hours um, when I blot then reapply so um, but always, always keep whatever bright color you're wearing with you because it does wear off and you do want to have it to reapply because you don't want to be going out there looking a mess with some patchy lips. So anyways, good luck and happy wearing. And I did this video because one of my subscribers said that her husband um, loved her in red lips, so thank you for suggesting wearing bright lips to, for her. So to her, I think her name is My Beauty Perspective, um, go ahead and rock your lips, and this is how I do it now. So. Alright, y'all have a great day, and thanks again for watching. Bye.